All right, let's do it. Start. So 11.4 is on the cross product of vectors. So 11.4, it's a whole section on this. It's called cross product. Cross product. It's a cross, I'll just say cross product. So we're going to take what's called the cross product of two vectors. So given two vectors, we're going to cross them. It's a new operation. It's a vector operation. This is going to come up everywhere in the course. So not just in this section, but like in future sections as well. So let me give you the definition of the cross product. So let u, so u is a vector. So we tend to put arrows over our vectors, right? Again, if you forget the arrow on a test, usually it's not a big deal, right? So u is equal to and then I'll write it in ijk form. So it'll be u1 i hat plus u2 j hat plus u3 k hat. Uh, so it's written as what's called a linear combination of ijk. You can also write it in the other form with the brackets. It's been like three weeks since we had class, or two weeks. Do you remember what it's called? The, so it's the letter C, the com, remember? the. Com com component form, yeah. Whatever. So you could you could do this. I wanted to do this because this is better in my mind, but uh, I didn't. But now I did it. So there it is. So that's that's you. That's you. And then we need another vector. So we'll call it uh, we'll call it v. So v. I'm gonna put the arrow. And again, I'll write it in in the ijk form. So so v1 i hat v1 i hat. Post. I like this section, V2. I like it because I almost have like no notes. It's, it's really fun. Um, plus V3, K hat. That means less chances for mistakes. I don't have to follow my notes so much. And we can write it in the component form. So using the funny angle brackets, V1, V2, V3. So given two vectors, notice these are vectors in space, right? This is only defined for vectors in three-dimensional space. It's really unique. You can't define this for two-dimensional vectors, and to my knowledge, it doesn't exist in higher dimensions. So it's kind of weird. It's unique to 3D. It's pretty cool. So then, the cross product, so the cross, the cross product. is, I'll just say the cross product of u and v, but I'll just say the cross product is u cross v. I'm going to show you how to memorize the formula. It's actually really simple. It's actually a really easy formula to memorize. You put a determinant symbol, so a determinant, and then in here you put a matrix, right? You put a matrix. In the first row of the matrix, you just do i, j, k, always, okay? So it's i, j, k. Always, no matter what. It's just always I, J, K. Every single time, right? Always. I, J, K. 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 And the second one is just whatever is here. So U. So it'll be U1, U2, U3. U1, U2, U3. So U1, U2, U3. So I, J, K. U1, U2, U3. If you had to guess, what would go... V1, V2, V3, very good, Josh. Just V1, V2, V3. So just the V. So V. It, now it matters which one goes where, right? So, so if this is first, this has to go first, right? If this is second, this has to go second. And that's it. So how do you compute this? I'll show you, right? I'll show you. This is just a determinant. Right? I'll just show you how to do it. But this is the way you memorize it, right? This is the way you memorize it. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me just show you. Uh, let me do more. So let's just say that we wanted to compute it. Why not? It's college. We'll, we'll, we'll get halfway there. So the calc three way is the following. So it's just i hat. And then you cross out the row and column for i hat. And then you take the determinant of what's left. So that. So I'm going to write that down. So boom, u2, u3, v2, v3. So u2, u3, v2, v3. OK, so boom. So cross that out. And then you go to j hat. But then it's, it's plus, minus, plus. So it's plus, minus. I've memorized this as plus, minus, plus. Then you go to j hat, and you cross out the row and column for j hat. So boom. So what's left is what you write, you see? So first you cross this one out. So u2, u3, v2, v3. Boom, boom, boom. And then this one, u1, u3. Oh, I don't want to mess up. u1, u3. And then i got to go back and do it again. i got to use my hands. V1, V3. Everyone see it? V1, V3. V1, V3. V1. Hey! What's up? V, V. That's a U. V1, V3. V3. So recap. The first one's I hat. Cross, cross out the corresponding row and column. 
write down the determinant of the remaining submatrix. Then go to J hat, but it's minus, cross out the corresponding row and column, write down the determinant of the remaining submatrix. These are called minors, by the way, if you remember that from pre calc or algebra or linear algebra. And the next one's plus. And what, what do you think is going to go here before the. Uh, do you want me to? K, K. Oh, yeah. K hat, K hat, it's got a hat, right? It's got to have a hat, K hat, right? K hat. Yeah, oh, I know, yeah, yeah. So then, yeah. You won, you two. Yeah, you, you, somehow you know this, good. I mean, no, it's good. You won, you two. And then what goes in the bottom row? V1, V1, V2, good, V1, V2. V1, V2, let me go over that again. So this is the Calc 3 way, which, which is fine, I accept it. I used to always reject it. Why? Because. The linear algebra way is a little bit different. In linear algebra, what you do, what you do in linear algebra, I'll just show you and then I'll erase it, okay? Is you pick any row or column, right? You can do this with any row or column. So let's just pick the first row. It's called cofactor expansion. And you write this down. And then you always write down, in linear algebra, you write down negative one, and you do row plus column. So this is first row, first column. So you do one plus one. That's what you do in linear algebra, right? So one plus one is two. So negative one squared is positive one. And then, this is the first row, second column. First row, second column. So in linear algebra, what you do is you put a plus, and you do first row, second column. It's always row plus column. So that's negative one cubed, so it becomes a negative one. Right? But in Calc 3, we just memorize it. We just do plus minus plus, because all we care about is the answer, right? Because it's Calc 3, and we, just, we, need, we need to use this as a tool. And the last one, if you, if you were doing it the linear algebra way, it would be negative one, this is the first row, what column is this? Third. Third. Yeah, so it'd be one plus three. So using the linear algebra way, you'd have this here, you'd have this here, and you'd have this here. And then those would give you the signs, right? Negative one to an even power is one, negative one to an odd power is negative one. So, hey, all right, good stuff. So you just memorize it, plus, minus, plus. No one actually does it this way in Calc 3. It's too much, right? It's just too much. But just extra knowledge, right? Extra, extra knowledge. A lot of people in Calc 3 don't know this. Why? Because you don't need to know it, right? But I just figured I'd show you. Just Most people in Calc 3, you ask someone in Calc 3, oh, they, they won't know this, right? Do you do this in, in DE, you do a little bit of this, differential equations, when you compute determinants. All right, let's do some problems. I, I wrote down some homework problems, I think. I have them, unless I threw it away. I did, I did. I wrote them down this morning when I was eating breakfast. I thought I should write some down. And let's just, let's just go through these. Let's do some problems. Um, that way I don't have to keep going back to the computer. I was like, oh, you know, I should write them down. I should like, prepare even just a little bit. But I didn't do it for the next section. I got lazy. Um, let's start with number five, because the first four are really easy. We'll come back to those. So number five. So we have, we have two vectors. We have u, which is 5i hat plus 9, oh, 9k hat. Is that right, Nikki? Do you have the homework up? I have 9 plus 9k, yeah. Yeah, thanks, good. I saw you looking. I'm like, oh, she has it. Maybe she can help me. Okay, so that's good. And then v, 6i hat plus 6j hat. This one's pretty hard minus 2k hat. Is that what it is? Awesome. Perfect. And there's a couple parts. It wants, it wants u cross v, and it wants uh, v cross u. Oh, I forgot to show you some stuff, but I'll, I'll just show you later. I had notes and I just ignored them. It's all right, though. It's good. It's good. We got this. So a. So u cross v. u cross v. u cross v. All right, so let's do it. So to do u cross v, you just use uh, the formula, right? You just use the formula. So solution. So I'll write it again here. So u cross v is equal to. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, it's really beneficial to think about things in component form, okay? This is really sneaky. Watch this. In component form, this is 5. What's the second component? <laughs> yeah, it's zero, right? It's zero. Is it, why is it zero? Because it is. Look, there's really, there's really a zero J hat. Isn't that evil? It's really sneaky, right? So when I, 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 I didn't really think about it when I wrote it down this morning. I was just like, whatever, I'll write it down. OJ. You used to be a football player. Whoa, 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 whoa. OJ. OJ, OJ. He was a football and a comedian. He was in different movies. 509. And this one would be 6. 6, negative 2. 6, 6, negative 2. 6, 6, negative 2. 
All right, so now we can write down our determinant. So boom, so i, j, k, i, j, k. What would go in this row here in the, in the, for using the formula? 509. 509, very good, 509. This is really important, by the way, and not just for this section, but for the whole course. This is also on the second test, right? It comes up later, except later we're going to have functions in here and their derivatives and stuff. So it's a big deal. Like, it's, you'll, get, you'll get really good at it. Uh, and then this goes here. 6, 6, negative 2. Okay, so that's the first step. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so I think now we're ready to go. By the way, um, this is abusive notation. I should emphasize that, right? Um, this is a this is a matrix. It really should be this. I'm going to erase this, but it really should be right five zero nine six six negative two. This is what it should be, but nobody does this in the real world, right? Because this is, if this is your matrix A, then the determinant of A is equal to that, right? So you're supposed to have parentheses there, but no one writes them, and the reason they don't write them is because they don't want to. So, so we don't have to either, okay? Because you're supposed they're supposed to be there, right? Like, if you have a matrix A, one, two, three, four, when you take the determinant, you put bars around it. But people are lazy and they erase the parentheses, so it's accepted. It's just pointing that out. All right, so let's do it. So it's going to be i hat, right? I hat, i hat. So leave that there. And then you cross out the corresponding row and column, right? So you cross this out. So you're left with 0, 9, which had longer arms, 0, 9, 6, negative 2. Everyone see it? 0, 9, 6, negative 2. So 0, 9, 6, negative 2, right? So you cross out the corresponding row and column. This is called the minor, by the way, M-I-N-O-R, the minor. It's from linear algebra. Is the next one plus or is it uh, minus? Minus, yeah, minus, good, minus, minus. I haven't done any of these since last year. I just wrote down the problem, so it should be fine. J hat, then we draw the bars, right, the bars. So, and then cross out the corresponding row and column, right? So, boom, five, nine, six, negative two. Five, nine, six, negative two. Let me see, okay, good, five, nine. I have bad memories of this when I took Calc 3, so, um, yeah, I didn't understand it. My teacher didn't show the steps. He would just like go to the result like two minus four plus seven equals and like really hard. Plus k hat, k hat, and then we cross out the corresponding row and column. So five zero six six. Yeah, five zero six six. Five zero six. Let me pause here. You can check your work here. It's really easy to grade this too. Of course, the best thing you can do is just get it right. So that way. That way I don't have to like think about it. just just get it right. Yeah, and you will. You will. The funny thing is, uh, when people mess up on this, they all make the same mistake. Like I think last semester, a bunch of people put like negative 33 instead of 33. And, like six people made the same mistake. I was like, did they cheat? And I'm like, nah, probably not. And, like, <laughs> it's just normal human mistakes, right? I haven't shown you how to do this, so I'll show you now. So this hangs out. And the way you do this is you just do this times this minus this times this. So like if you have, I hate to derail, but like let's say you have 2, 3, 4, 5. You would just do 2 times 5 minus 3 times 4. Do you remember that from math? So 2 times 5 minus 3 times 4. So you would get 10 minus 12. So you would get negative 2. So you do this times this minus this times this. This times this minus this times this. This times this minus this times this. So here it'll be 0 times negative 2, which is just 0. I'll just put 0. Skipping a step here. I feel kind of bad. 0, 0, minus, and then what would go here? What number? 54. 54. Very good, Kenny. 54. You remember 54. Everyone see that? 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 9 is 54. So this times this minus this times this. Minus j hat. j hat. So it would be 5 times negative 2, so negative 10. Oh, that's really weird. It's minus what now? 54. That's a little bit weird. Okay. Okay, it must be right, like no one said anything. Plus, 
k hat. 5 times 6 is 30. Ah, minus 0. It's over here. Minus 0. Any questions so far on this computation? So it's a new thing, right? Use this in physics, too, by the way. Use this in physics. What does it do? I'll tell you in a minute. After this example, I'll tell you what it does. Yeah? Can you get the angle between vectors? No, it gives you. So basically, when you take the cross product of two vectors, I forgot to go over my notes, so I forgot to write it, but good. <laughs> uh, the, res the, the resulting vector is a vector that's perpendicular to both. So like the answer is going to be orthogonal to both of these, to u and v. So given two vectors, you can find one that's perpendicular when you find the cross product. That's the idea. So given two, you find a perp, a perp vector. All right, that's it, right? So we get negative 54 i hat. So negative 54 i hat. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, negative 64, and it's already negative. So it's going to be po positive 64. Can you see, Marissa? Jay, oh, good. Good. And then uh, plus, plus 30 k hat. And that's it. That's it. So this is actually perpendicular to both u and v, right? To both u and v, to both u and v. So that's it. It's a cross product. That's the whole section. Like there's a couple of other things, but that's that's basically. We're gonna do more examples, but that's basically it, right? Just the whole section is on the cross product, right? Cross product. Any questions on this one? Questions. We should do another one, right? We should do many more. Let's do let's do part B, which is uh, v cross u. So. Oh, uh, so I'm going to show you something really cool. Show you something really cool. So this is really interesting. I forgot to tell you this, and now we have to use it, so I guess I'll tell you. So, solution. So formula. There's a formula you can use to do this problem. That way you don't have to do it again, right? Whenever you have u cross v, or v cross u, it's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. So if you have v cross u, it's just negative u cross v. Right, you just flip the signs. So it makes it really easy. It makes the homework a lot easier. That's one of the formulas in my notes uh, that I just, I forgot that I had notes. So I got too excited. I was like, oh, this is easy. And I just didn't look at them. Plus it's really small. Um, so in this example here, we can write the answer down, right? We can just go ahead and do it. Let's just do it. So basically we come here and we just switch the signs. Right, so it'll be uh, uh, 54. Let's use component form. Let's be weird. Let's be different. So 54. 54. And then the next one would be negative 64. Ne negative 64. Yeah, negative, negative 64. Yep. And then negative 30. Negative 30. Right, that's it. That's it. So you just switch the signs on this. I purposely use component form just to make it more confusing. So you see that you can't do that. So, really easy. Really easy. Any questions on this? Questions on this? C. C. Another formula that I didn't write down, but now I'll write it down. So if you have v cross v, that's what. C, oh, is that what c is? V cross v. Yeah. Or is it u cross u? V. Oh, it's v. Okay. Um, so the formula for this. Whenever you cross something with itself you always get the zero vector, right? Always, no matter what. Um, so if you do v cross v, it's a really easy proof, too. You do v cross v, it's just equal to the zero vector. So this is the vector where all the components are zero, OK? So if you take the cross product of any vector with itself, um, you get the zero vector. It's really easy to see from this formula, right? If you think about it, if you have the same vector here and the same vector here, you have two rows that are the same. Whenever you're computing determinants, if you have two rows that are the same, the determinant is zero. Right? It's a thing from linear algebra. So, so for this one, um, you just get zero. So, all right. Um, before we go further, let me write down some of the stuff uh, that I forgot to tell you uh, regarding cross products. But any questions on this one example? We'll do more. Oh, you had a question. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy, right? It's pretty easy. Uh, compared to, well, I don't know, compared to, I don't know compared to what, but it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. A couple, a couple other things, um, so remarks that are important. Remarks. The first remark is a big one. Uh, it's the most important remark, actually. Actually, it's the only one I'm going to write down. So remark, 
Because <laughs> I've already written down the other ones, right? So the one remark I want to write down is what is u cross v? So u cross v is a vector. So it is a vector, right? It's a vector and it is orthogonal. It's a vector that is or orthogonal. Orthogonal. Orthogonal means what? What's another word for orthogonal? Do you remember? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Yeah, I just like orthogonal because it sounds better. Um, orthogonal to both u and v. It's used in physics a lot too. Like in physics, you do use this. Has anyone seen this in physics? You have? What do you use it for in physics? Uh, when you're, uh, you're trying to look at... Uh, Torque? Uh, I remember. The statics? You're taking the statics? Hardcore. So it has, has meaning. It's good. Cool. Besides this. So it's good. It's good. Thanks. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's do another homework problem. Let's try. Um, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and this, and this only works in 3D, right? This only works in 3D. It doesn't work in 2D or, or 4D or 5D or 1D. It's, a, it's, an, exclusively, it's an exclusive creation for three dimensions. Uh, let's try number, number six. Let's try number six. So number six, we have two vectors. We have u equals uh, three, negative six, negative five. And we have v equals nine, six, two. 9, 6, 2. So you have these two vectors. And the question is to find um, u cross v, just like before. So why don't you all try it? Like, try to do it. Work together. See if you take a few minutes. See if you can do it. Like, see if you can do this problem. Right? Like, just see if you can, like, actually do it. Yeah. And work together, you know. If you don't make friends if you need to. I mean, if you don't have... If, just... <laughs> Luigi made friends. No. <laughs> hey, Luigi, did you get it figured out? The web assign thing? Yeah. I, I saw you had two accounts. Yeah, I was trying to... Uh, you didn't pay twice, right? Almost. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because I, I was going to email you back and tell you that I could change your password for you, but I'm like, no, he figured it out, so I'll leave him alone. So, okay. You. Okay. <laughs> you got the answer? The With your calculator? I made, the, I made, I made a program. Oh. He made a program on his calculator. Oh. <laughs> you program, you can, I guess you could program it on your calculator. He was in my class last semester. He didn't just do it now, like, <laughs> like during class. Like, oh, I'm gonna take the definition and stick it in my calculator. <laughs> hey, come on, yeah. Yeah, you were here for the beginning though, right? They're just trying this one, come on. Did you get it, Nikki? You did? Already? I just want to subtract 18 for 54 real quick. That's the last bit. Oh, the, the, the math. <laughs> I know. Don't be a hero, right? Type it in, type it in. <laughs> I tutored this girl once in Oviedo. It was a really a horrible story. And she would type in everything in her, like two plus two, she would put that in her calculator. <laughs> yeah, I know. And she was really fast. <laughs> I know. She had a really funny voice, too. Really Did you get it, Josh? I'll delete this part so it won't show up. Let's get rid of it. Did you get it, Marissa? Yeah. 
Piece of cake. It's easy. Have you done that before? No. Oh, you haven't? Really? And you got it? Oh, you learned something new. It's so good. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. You got it, Luigi? You know how to do it? Yeah. yeah. Can I do it? Can I do it? Really? Oh, good, okay. All right, finally. All right, solution, solution. So you cross V. I'll go slow in case you're still doing it. So what goes in the first row? Do you remember? IJK. IJK. Yeah, IJK. So IJK. And it's really important to remember to put the U first, okay? So this comes up a lot on, on the exams. Uh, it comes up on this one, obviously, but... On the other ones, it almost comes up more. So, so there's your U, and then the V goes down here. So 9, 6, 2. All right, good stuff. And then just remember, it's plus, minus, plus, right? Plus, minus, plus. So it'll be I hat. And then what you do is you go to where I hat is, and you cross out the row and column where it resides. So boom, just cross those out, right? Cross out the corresponding row and column. So negative 6, negative 5, 6, 2. All right, so boom. And so it's plus. Is the next one plus or is it minus? Minus, minus yeah, minus j hat. So it's plus, minus, plus. Then you cross out the corresponding row and column. So 3, negative 5, 9, 2. 3, negative 5, 9, 2. So 3, negative 5, which had longer arms. So an advantage of having long arms. Like I could stand here and I can do it, but I, they're not that long. Plus, I had a teacher who had really long arms like that. Like really long, like really tall. So, so plus k hat. Yeah, he was really, he was really tall. So he would do like this, and you could, you could, you had big hands too. So three negative six, nine six. Boom, there it is. Three negative six, nine six. So plus minus plus, plus minus. Who got this far? Just curious. Okay, pretty good. Rafael, okay, oh, you didn't get that phone. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So then it's gonna be I hat. And oftentimes the mistakes happen here, and then sometimes it happens with the arithmetic, right? Like with the subtracting and the adding, it's very normal. So negative 12, oh, what's, what's this gonna be? Positive 30, yeah. Cause it's minus, did you mess up there? No, the, I wrote it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <getting my> calculator. <laughs> so negative 12 and then minus negative 30 is plus 30. And then it's minus j hat. So six minus 45, minus negative 45, so it'll be plus 45, plus 45, plus k hat. 18, right, 18, right, 18, right, 18 and then plus 54. That happened every single time in this problem, the double negative. That didn't happen in the previous problem, so. Good stuff. All right, let's finish, let's finish this. This will be eight, 18, eight, 18, 18 I hat. 18 I hat uh, plus 50, minus, ooh, minus 51, minus 51 J hat. I need more soda. Oh, what's 18 plus 54? 72? 72, 72, I believe you. Trust. Okay. It's not 72. No, it, no, it is. Is it? It is. It is. Because 10 plus 54 is 64. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, K hat. K hat. Oh, oh you lose two points there, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's really like two dimensions. Whatever. What's the difference between a cross product and the dot product? So the dot product gives you a number that tells you, for our purposes, whether two things are perpendicular, right? So like if you get zero, they're orthogonal. If you don't. So the cross product takes two vectors and gives you a number, right? Right. And that number for us is used to determine whether things are perpendicular. Whereas the cross product takes two vectors and gives you a vector that is actually perpendicular. So that's the main difference. So the dot product gives you a number. The cross product gives you a vector. Come on, right? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Actually, um, just for fun, just for fun, because come on, last. Just, let's just, what if, what if you had to do u cross v, this is in the homework and some of the, it might even be this problem, dot v. It, 
It'd be zero. Oh, that's, well, I guess that's using properties, but what's that? Or, well, yeah, I guess you'd have to know some stuff, though, about this. Let's say you don't know stuff about this. What can you say about u cross v and v? They're what? They're orthogonal. And so when you take the dot product of two orthogonal vectors, what do you always get? Zero. zero. Right? So if you, likewise, you could do this. You could do u cross, this is in the homework. You could do this, and it's also zero. Notice it's the number zero, not the zero vector. Right? If I do, if I do u cross u, that's also zero, but it's the zero vector. Right? Deep, right? Deep. Really sneaky, right? So this is where like there is an important difference between putting the arrow and not putting the arrow, right? So most of the time I let it go unless like the context is like really important and not maybe not obvious. So it's better to do it. But like if you forget the arrows, usually I'll let it go. Like if you do this, you know, I'll let it go. Because you can come back and be like, oh, I, they were bold. I'm like, well, they don't look bold to me, but they might look bold to you, right? So, <laughs> yeah. So what's like this, then? Isn't that what you were saying? U times V is V. Oh, that's something else. That's something different. That's U dot V okay. then times V. That's different. Because this, this has the dot. Mm-hmm. Okay, no. mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Let's see what part B was. Let's go ahead and do it. Part B, it's easy. It's easy. Let's do it. So B, little B. Uh, v cross U. This is easy. Just, just for completeness. V cross U. So do you remember how to do this one? What do you do to do this one? What do you do with the signs? Just flip them, right? It's flip them. Super easy, right? Um, this one's kind of a scary test question. I don't know if I'd put this on your test because honestly I'd be worried uh, because what could happen is, like if I put this on a test, right? Okay, that's points. Who got it? Who got it? Uh, okay, the whole class. Do you have a pencil? I don't have a pen or anything. <laughs> thanks, yeah, thanks. Oh, sorry. All... That's right. Oh, thanks. That's good. Uh, no, no more mistakes. Not going to happen. Thank you. So uh, I, I was, I was just saying that I would never put this on a test because I would worry, be worried you'd mess up. Let me explain how. Not like this. So I'd be worried that you got this wrong, and then like suffer twice because then you, you know what I mean. So usually on a test, I'll just have you do one. I mean, I could make it like one point or something, but I don't know. Let's see, see, see. The last part. The last part is V cross V, I think. So, which we already did, kind of. So, what, what would this be? Zero. zero. Yeah, zero. Good, good. So, I think you got this. I want to do, do one more homework problem, then we're going to go back and do the first four. I want to make sure we cover everything, right? Yeah, your test, and that's not next week, by the way. It's the week after. Yes. And when I make your test, by the way, remember, I'm going to give you, like, specific review questions. So, um, if you do those, you'll be able to to do well. Because the homework is so varied. There's so much weird homework. Like It's very varied. There's all kinds of different types of problems in the homework. Let's do uh, the last one in the homework. Uh, and then I'm going to show you something really cool and we'll do the first four. Number 12. Number 12 is a really, really good problem, right? Super important. I wish there was more problems like 12 in the homework, but there's not, right? It's on the worksheet, though. I just made a video of this, I think, recently. Um, so you... It's a nice question. Test level? Oh, totally. Yeah, this, this, is, this will definitely be, this camera there, but it doesn't matter. No one's going to watch this. I'll just make it harder. This will definitely be on the test, right, for sure. Or you'll have one like this. This is like an, the ultimate question. Yeah, this is totally something you would see uh, in an exam situation, right? Um, you know, we did something kind of like this last time, too, except this is just harder. It's like a step up, right? It's like a step up. So the question is to find a unit vector that is orthogonal to both of these, right? So find, say what, a unit vector. I love unit vectors. Do y'all remember what a unit vector is? It's a vector with one. length length one, length, norm, magnitude one, right? The length of the vector is one, yeah. Find a unit vector that is orthogonal that is orthogonal, orthogonal to both 
U and V. So orthogonal to both, right? To both U and V, to both. I have the answer, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the answer I have without a calculator. So we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll probably end up leaving our answers unsimplified on this one and we'll see if the homework takes it. So to find a unit vector that is orthogonal to both, we first have to find a vector that is orthogonal to both. What is a vector that is orthogonal to both of these? What, what's? V cross V. The cross broad, U cross V. Yeah, or you can do V cross U too, but I think U cross V. So step one, find U cross V. That is the orthogonal vector, right? That, that'll be orthogonal to both. Then after that, we'll turn it into a unit vector. Do you remember what it's called when we take a vector and we turn it into? Normalize. normalize, you remember. Oh my God, it's been like weeks, yes. Then we're going to normalize it. So we're going to normalize the cross product. That sounds like so intense, right? Uh -huh. Let's get goosebumps. So let's do it. Let's first, let's first find the cross product. So U cross V, U cross V. So I, J, K, always in the first row doing it the calc three way. I used to hate this way. I used to think it was like cheating, but then, then I gave in. It's just, it's just more efficient. Negative eight. I used to always write the, the, the negative ones, you know, but it's just plus minus plus. Plus minus plus. 12, 12, negative 16, negative two. Okay, all right, let's see. So it's gonna be I hat. Then you cross out the corresponding row and column. Right. See, I've had longer arms, I could stand here and do it, but that, right? So, so negative 6, 4, negative 16, negative 2. Is it plus? No. What goes here? Minus. minus, yeah, minus, plus, minus, plus, don't forget. I used to always, yeah. Ugh. This is the the advantage. If we got a chalkboard, I could cross stuff out, but I can't because it's the same color. So negative eight four, twelve negative two, and then plus k hat. Now I'm gonna do it. I'm finally gonna get to do what I've been wanting to do. <laughs> finally, <laughs> I've been wanting to do that the whole time, <laughs> but I can't, right? Because once you do it once, if you do it again, it's too confusing. So the chalkboards have an advantage that with the chalkboard you can write lightly and then you can do it three times. Pencils too. All right, now we're ready to go, right? Let's see, so this is gonna be I hat. Uh, 12, so 12, what's, what's four times 16? What's that gonna be? Six, 64, right? So it's minus negative, so it's plus, minus J hat. This times this is six, 16 minus 48, right? Because it's this times this, right? Minus 48. Mm. Make sure those parentheses don't look like ones. Plus k hat. 8 times 16 is 128, right? Because 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 80 is 128. Boom. Uh, 128. Minus negative 72, so plus 72. It's going to be 200. Awesome. Awesome. So this is going to be equal to, ah, uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to drop the IJK. Component form. Let's just randomly switch, right? We can do whatever we want. 32, 32, and 200. Boom. So this is a vector that is orthogonal to both to both U and V. No, it's negative and negative. It's a deduction. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, it's so bad, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Huh? Go for it. Yeah, there's other ways to do it. If you know other ways to do it, go for it, yeah. I forgot that method. I used to know how to do it. Yeah, it's like do, 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 do. Yeah, there's another way of doing this, but I forgot. Luigi's way, or I forgot. Huh? Yeah, maybe when we're done, you can one of you can come up and show us how to do it if you want to. Or. Uh, all right, so to finish this one, we have to do something with this. We have to turn it into a unit vector. What's that called when you do that? Do you remember? Normalize. Normalize. Yeah, I remember learning that. I learned that in physics. Yeah, my physics teacher, she was like, it's like we're going to normalize it. Like, yeah, like very like, <laughs> yeah, like a beeper. Okay, so. 
We have to find the magnitude of this thing, right? So the magnitude, this is going to be ridiculous. That's going to be a lot. Yeah. So that's going to be just nuts. This is like, calculators are our friends. Before calculators, how would people do this? I don't know, their minds. <laughs> Long way, right? Uh, anyone know what's going to be inside the square root, the number? Uh, I got, got 46,800. Okay, you both got it. Okay, good. I'm going to leave it like that. Because you could probably simplify it if you really worked hard. Yeah, you could, but I mean, it would take like it's too much. It's too, it take like it's too much, right? So let's try to type in the answer like this. So the answer is going to be this divided by this magnitude. So it'll be 76 over the square root of 46,800, 32 over the square root of 46,800, 200 over the square root of 46,800. Ridiculous, right? Someone should type this in, see if it takes it. On the test, I would totally accept this, right? Like, someone will give me the reduced answer because the 89s do it, but you know, I can check the decimals and make sure they match. Easy way to grade it. Uh huh? It's, yeah, please, if you can. When you, when, yeah, take your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's really slow. Hopefully it records this time. Last time I think I told you I had to delete the whole thing, so it was my fault. It happens every once in a while. I'll forget something or I'll do something wrong. It's just whatever. Missed opportunities. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's alright. I can wait. I got time. Let's talk about. It takes it? What's your name? Eduardo. Eduardo? Oh, right, right. Yeah, well, right, right. Never mind. Yeah. When you switched it to 76, 32, 200 and components, how come we didn't put in the negative? What, what would it be negative? Like, I thought when we wrote it with I hat, J hat, it was, then we switched it to put it in the components. No, it would just be this in regular form. Oh, it's the other direction. Yeah, that's right. I just switched it. Okay. Ah, yeah. Go. So smart. Yeah, what if it said in the direction, uh, what if you had to find another unit vector in the opposite direction, right? It would be the same thing. It would be the same. You by negative one. Yeah. 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 Anyways, that's that one. That's that one. So let me show you something else. I don't even know if this is in the book. Uh, but uh, check this out. Check this out. This is pretty interesting. So I don't know what to call it. Um, because it doesn't, yeah, it's just uh, useful. This is really useful. So watch this. I'm sure you've seen, if you know physics, maybe, maybe you've seen this. I, J, K, right? These are the standard unit vectors, right? So I forget where I learned this. And then watch this, you draw arrows. And now we can compute all cross products with i, j, k with this picture. So like we can do i cross j. So what that does is you just follow the arrows. i cross j is equal to k. i cross j is equal to k. i cross j is equal to k. Cool, right? What if we go backwards? If we do j cross i, well, we know we're supposed to put a negative, but you can also read it backwards. J cross I, you're going backwards, so you put a negative. Cool, right? It's really useful. I forgot where I learned this. Do you all ever see this in physics? You have in physics? Yeah. Okay, how about this one? Uh, J cross K. So J cross K would be, what is it? Almost. Oh, no, it is. It is I. Sorry, I'm wrong, you're right. I'm glad I didn't write it. Yeah, J cross K is I. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, K cross I? What would that be based off of? K cross I 
would be J. Right? When, you, when you follow the arrows, it's positive, right? K cross I is J. Let's just, let's just go over these again. So I cross J is K, because you go, when you follow the arrows, it's positive. I cross J is K. J cross I, you're going backwards, it's negative K. J cross K, it's I. K cross I is J. Uh, if you do, if you do, say, let's do, let's do K cross J. I don't think we've done that one yet. K cross J. Negative I, because we're going backwards. Everyone see that? So when you go backwards, it's negative. Isn't that cool? So it saves you, saves you some time. Let's do the homework problems. I mean, why not? We can. I have them written down. I'm going to write down all four, and then we'll just do all four. It makes it better that way. I'm just going to write the questions down first. So one, two, three, four. Just, it just feels better to do them like that. So, so J cross I, I cross J, J cross K. The homework has you graph them. Don't worry, you're not going to have to graph anything on the test. So don't worry about graphing. So it's not, not fun to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that's right. Is it right? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay, so K cross I is J. All right, I was thinking about something else. Okay, so what would, what would, what would J cross I be? Negative K, yep. Because you're going backwards, right? J cross I is negative K. Very good. So J cross I is negative K. And then what about I cross J? What would that be? K. K. Yeah, K. And what about J cross K? I. That's it. That's it. Really easy, right? Do you all want these on your test? Like, yeah. You do? You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. These are, kind of, these are dangerous, though. You know why? Because that's right, right? What happens if you do this, Rafael? Like, what if you do, what if you just do K? That's just so wrong, I don't know what to do. But mark it wrong, right? So, like, there's no partial credit, but all right, I'll try to remember. So, K cross I, I, I will try to remember. Remind me if you want. Like, be like, hey, you said. You can put this in the That's right. That's right. <laughs> no. I did that once. Uh, you know the piecewise functions? Like evaluating piecewise functions, you plug in the numbers. My pre-calc class were like, can you put a bunch of those on the test because they're really easy. So I put a bunch of them on the test. I made them like, it was like 30 points for the first question and this girl got them all wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she got a B in the class, I know. And I always, I remember her face, I don't remember her name. And yeah, I always think of her. Like, you know, sad, right? I know, I, I purposely made it easy in a lot of points and she got them all wrong. I was like, you, do that for these you sure, Udash? <laughs> All right. Hey, let, let, let's go to the next section. The next section is really cool. 